Central Highlands, part of the Central Queensland region. <laughs> Stanley the dog's favourite time of the day, the time where he gets his dinner. However, today, he seems to have gone missing. The gang are very concerned. Stanley! 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 Come on! Oh shit, it's right, it's right down there! Come here. Stanley! Luckily, he is found, and he returns to have his lunch. Stanley fed, it's time for Chris to feed the chickens. <laughs> we get the spoils. Woo! Six eggs today. Oh, look it. Meanwhile, out the front, Jade is mowing the lawn. Making sure the Belliando crossing is neat and tidy is a full time job, and everyone pitches in to help out. Regular visitors to the BC are road workers resurfacing many of the dirt roads in the area. A gravel pit is set up close by where gravel is mined and four road trains transport the product 14 kilometres where it's tipped straight onto the existing road where it is flattened and rolled. With many workers chasing the big money in the mines, pretty much anybody can turn up and have a go at laying roads. It's raining at the BC today and the road trains usually carrying gravel are out of action. The weather has also caused problems on the roads. A motorcyclist has been hit by a kangaroo and has a suspected broken leg. An air ambulance has been scrambled to airlift him to Townsville Hospital. The helicopter is overhead, but with the rain the visibility is too poor and he cannot land. The helicopter passes over and the man will be forced to make his journey by ambulance. It's the second time in as many weeks that Nurse Jade has been called into action and had to provide emergency treatment. Wait for the helicopter that's not coming. What goes into a works burger? What doesn't go into a works burger? We've got mince, we've got bacon, we've got steak, we've got eggs, we've got pineapple, and then all the salads. Cheese, my cheese, cheese. I'm a cheese. Um. Known as the Carrier's Rest in 1863, the original roadhouse was destroyed by a cyclone in the early 1900s. The area has been an important stop-off for over a century and is rich in history of early pioneers. Here we are at the uh, grave sites of Mary Hopkins and Neil McClashen. McClashen. Uh, these graves are over a hundred years old. Um, we've got Mary over there with her youngest infant that died of starvation. In the 1970s, caravanners were haunted by Mary. They could often hear her laughing. And uh, nobody really knew why 
until they worked out that that caravan park over there was the original Berriando service station and the entrance to Mary's property. Here we have something old, much like the graveyards, but not. Not entirely sure what it is or what it did. All we know is that it's still here, not doing much. Things you find out at Bellyendo. This here is the honeymoon suite at the Bellyendo crossing. Quite luxurious out in the wilderness. And one with nature. And one with nature and, and right next to another ancient artifact which they are now using as a clothesline. Here we are at the uh, Bellyando River. As you can see, it's not running. This and other rivers around is where the Bellyando service station gets most of its water. It uh, tends to flow here maybe once or twice a year. Um, and when it does, the Bellyando River can be a stone's throw away from the service station. Cutting this and other properties along this road off from civilization for weeks at a time. It's Bill's final night and he's a big lover of pork chops so we're just going to take them out now and celebrate with pipe poppers and pipe poppers. Yeah. closes, it's time for everyone to head over to the pub. If there's no customers, the gang will close up and have a quiet game of pool. Hotel Baleando is in full swing. Tonight, Dipsy is rocking out. Be outdone, manager Johnny tries to throw some moves of his own. Steady. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you see it? <laughs> Sometimes it all gets a bit too much for Mel and she does a phantom. This is when she sneaks off. Alternatively, her and Jade have another interesting way to spend their evenings. Alrighty, here we are. At Billy Ando. At Billy Ando. And we're about to go cane toad hunting for yep. a bit of excitement on a Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. 
Thursday. Thursday. Thursday night. Thursday night. Thursday. You lose track Get of the it. days here. Yes, cheers. Hopefully we come out of this alive. Probably won't. Here we go. We've discovered another critter in our room. This is where the stick comes in handy. that one as well as we handled the cane toes. No, we didn't. It's because it's on our turf. Yeah, you're still there. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we got for you. Ring up, soldier. <laughs> With the previous night's excitement behind them, the Beriando Crossing is visited by an extremely large load. The earth mover is so big, it needs two trucks to carry it in what's known as a push and pull technique. After Beliando burgers all round, and despite Stanley's best efforts, the convoy can continue its journey. We're just going to have to get some firewood. <laughs> how, how are we getting there? Uh, on the back of the U, of the dump U. <laughs> Say hi, Mill. Hi. Make a feature in the movie. <laughs> the girls have found what appears to be a perfect fire burning log. They're going to pull it out with the ute <laughs> and take it back right, to the belly ando. Clear the pathway! Does <laughs> so that all want to fall over? Where, where do we go? That way. Out of harm's way. <laughs> that way. Jesus. a more hands-on approach. Go bud! <laughs> oh no, she's still attached. Fuck Hold that for a second. Yeah. 
I, I the girls have more success pulling a log with a chain rather than a rope. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. No! Oh, <laughs> ah! He's going! No, go! He's going! Go! Today sees another unusual visitor with Pigeon Man releasing pigeons which are going to race back to Townsville. Beliando Crossing is located in prime cattle grazing country, with many stations located in the area. One day, whilst out on the Mount Coolan Road, we got caught up in a muster. The cattle is mustered into yards, where it is sorted and counted and transported onto trucks. Because the properties are so big, much of the mustering is done by helicopters. Nurse Jade has adopted an orphan calf, which was born on the back of a cattle truck. Initially, he was called Oscar, however, his name was later changed to Tyrone the T-Bone. After a shaky start, he made excellent progress and even took to his surrogate cow mum. <laughs> Unfortunately, poor Tyrone was bitten by a brown snake and died. Thrashing around on a motorbike is a perfect way to spend a few hours after a hard shift. Statistically, women are better drivers than men. However, this doesn't seem to be the case at the Beliando. <laughs> Although Sarah came off much better than Jade and Mel. Coming out of the four wheels. Hi. <laughs> and we'll fag it along. You want to see it? Oh god, that looks nasty. And then we hit a puddle, that puddle over there. And we come we come off the bike. Is the bike broken? Did we... No, the bike's not broken. Yeah, the bike. And we got a few boo boos. Jade's gouged her arm pretty good. I'd knock my head, I'm bleeding from the noggin, and I think I've broke my fingernail. <laughs> <laughs> and my ass is a bit scratched up. Oh Anything to say, Jake? I hope I haven't broken my arm, but it doesn't feel like it. I just feel it's like just a big chunk it's out just of a me. Big guess. I just oh, really, really want something to put Give over it. it. Yeah. yeah, there's the wound, mate. There's the wound. Yeah, it'll need to be cleaned out. Oh, I got a big plumber's kit on my head. You don't need to be cleaned out. Look at that. That's nowhere near as bad as Jane's, but it still hurts. <laughs> oh, my legs. Oh, Mandy, can we have tomorrow off? Yeah, I think so. After a 200 km journey to the nearest hospital, luckily the girls made a full recovery in time for the staff night out to check out the nearest rivals, the Mount right, Coolan so Hotel. Coolum Airport. Get a drink on bitches. 
after a long day of serving truckies, caravanners and locals, it's time to close the doors and shut up shop on the Beliando crossing. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!